Hey guys, Falco here, welcome back to the Starbound Let's Build a Castle. In this episode we're going to finish up a, a part of the castle, so the second tower to the right. And we're going to furnish the watchtower, because the watchtower has been laying there um, underwater as you can see, under dirt as well. <laughs> There's even dirt there underneath in the pillars there, to the bottom, which is um, great, just great. As you can see there is one uh, tree already that has grown there. Which is fantastic because I wanted to have the middle part there like, covered in trees, little bench and stuff to make it look nice. So we join our little builder monkey to... Um oh, look at this. Yeah, I forgot. I made a little bit of a pathway there so that the dirt will fall on that instead of inside here. Because it would make a right mess. The, uh the dirt there! Ooh, no, almost died again. That's how I ended the last episode. It just fell down there and I died. This is going to be the uh, the let's build of death. As you can see, I have a door here with a lot of water, and I open the door, and the water falls down. Great. That's going to happen a lot of times. So this balcony here isn't the smartest thing to have, but you know, I love to have a balcony, but that just ruins everything. As you can see here, I already made a little bit of a, uh, a structure in the lower parts of the castle. I just decided not to show this because it's a lot of boring stuff. It's simply just putting. It's, it's simply just calculating and putting down stones. So it's not really too uh, important. As you can see here, if you just want to remake this part of the castle, just watch spouse here and watch it because it's not that hard. Or just figure out yourself what kind of rooms you want to have down there. I just made these rooms uh, lengthier and not too big. As you can see the room underneath there is just maybe, look, it's my, uh, my ape hat, my builder's hat on my ape guy just hits the top of that room. Oh see, I'm just fixing it up. As I say that, I just fix it up. But it's a lot of calculating and it's just kind of a boring stuff, I don't want to sh sh uh, show all that. As you can see I'm still cleaning up all the flipping dirt. Another stair here. There we go. There's a lot of shit here as well. There's water, ev there's water everywhere. There's even water inside of that little middle thing at the top there. And there's not even a way for water to get in there. Ah, oh, Starbound, you silly little shit. <laughs> okay, down here, yeah, I wanted to make a lot of, um, yeah, little rooms you would have to have in a castle, like, uh, little, uh, yeah, well, mm, an armory, uh, somebody, uh, I don't know, an armory. <laughs> Oh, you can see I would have like a little anvil there. I would decided what kind of rooms uh, try to make up there. What I'm trying to do to the left here is to make a little bit of a um, treasure room. I would just like to have a little bit of a, uh, a secret room in every castle. As you can see here, there's like this certain block. As you can see there, it, 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 it does look like it's a lot different than the rest there. But if you click it, you can open and close it up. Look at that, that's pretty good, isn't it? But it's cool that it has another texture. I mean, stuff like that in video games, you just... Every time you're in a video game and you see something that's out of the environment, that doesn't fit in the environment, it's usually something, so some secret or stuff. And back in the day when you pl played all uh, old Nintendo games, you always had that little piece of tree or something that, that, that was off, that didn't have the same color and stuff, you always knew there was something behind that door. And it's the same way with this, just I want that to to be there, a little bit more different, so you know that there's something there. As you can see here, I'm thinking how wide I'm going to make these towers. As you can see now, the, the space between tower 1 and tower 2 there is really small. But you know, it, it's 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 all right. It, it's more of a uh, it does give the castle a sort of ambience. This looks pretty all right. It looks good. Just trying to remove the mess that I made earlier. <laughs> all the stones everywhere. As you can see, I want to keep the. Um, the uh, stone wall and the wooden pillars there. I always like to have a little bit of extra stuff to, uh, extra little, yeah, what did you call it? 
the extra touch to it, you know? The plain old walls are really boring, and this adds to it a little bit, I think. I think it does. Oh! oh there we go. So let's fill this all in. As you can see, we have the, um, the main part of this room fixed up. This is going to be a very big room, as you can see. And it's going to be filled up with absolutely nothing. If I recall correctly, it's just going to be a couple of paintings and uh, maybe a chair in the middle there. And a table and a lamp, I don't know. The furnishing was something... Uh, uh, <laughs> as you can see there in the middle, the whole wooden pillars. The one is against the wall there. Nah, you know, whatever. I think I'm, I might fix that later on, I don't know. I think I am. If I look at this. It's funny to see myself build now without me immediately knowing what I'm doing here. Because it was quite a while back when I recorded this. I do watch... Oh, this is where I put the, um, the entire long stairs up and down here. To the right there. And the rooms just to the left. See, I was right. I, was, I knew, I, knew I, I did that somewhere. You can see a little bit of a door here. So there's going to be one lengthy little yeah, ladder there to the left, to the right, I mean. And these two rooms here to the left will be the... Uh, will be just rooms... To, do I? Oh, yes, I do. There I go. Or don't I? Do I make the... Stir no, I still don't do that. <laughs> I still decide to do it other... Oh, okay. I should stop saying that, that I just make that one lengthy little stair. Didn't do it here at all. I, d I decided to do the switcheroo here. The, the, stair the stairs left, the stairs right, the stairs left again. I think this is going to be the last uh, room I put on this tower. The highest room. It's going to be the, um, the one of the master suites. I think, in this, uh, in this castle. I open up the little hole there. Probably there's going to be a lot of sand that's going to fall through there and rain and stuff. But well, that might be nice. I can make a little bit of a swimming pool down there or something. I don't know. Oh, there I go. I, I almost fell up. <laughs> like I said, these two towers, they were really close to each other. In a way that it's just one, port up, one, uh, one block apart, as you can see there. But that's alright. I mean, it does give a little bit of a... Uh, it does look alright. It does have a, a fun, little, playful edge to it. Okay, here I make the other mistake again of making yet another balcony, which is in this world a very stupid thing to do because it probably will fill up with water and dirt and every time I open that door it will just flood my entire castle, but you know it's something you uh, you do for the uh <laughs> you do for the look of the castle just add that balcony, although it's going to give you a lot of pain <laughs> I'm gonna, I, seriously, I'm gonna bet you there's gonna be another sandstorm imminent right now. Oh, and there's an enemy, which is also great. There's always something in this game to, uh, <laughs> to distract you from what you're doing. And now I'm trying to fight him with ladders for some reason, I think. <laughs> okay. I could go up there and just close that door, but I decided to fix this room up first. I mean, that guy is uh, terrorizing the fucking castle up there. So I'm gonna take some time to uh, to fix it up down here. As you can see it, it bugged me out a bit that the wooden line there, if you look at the room down here, is not in the middle. It's a little bit off to the left. So I decided to uh, fix it up a little bit here. To make the wooden pillars go uh, there, symmetric. Look at all those birds in the left there. Jesus Christ! I should make a petting zoo next time. You know, it's it's a castle. This this uh, episode, this this playthrough, but the next will be a fucking petting zoo. Oh, there's the storm. I told you. <laughs> oh God! As you can see, probably there will be like an entire wall of dirt to the right there coming up. Oh no! Usually uh, piles up an entire piece of dirt there, but this time. The storm isn't that bad, I think. Probably go upstairs in a minute and it's like flooded with... Oh no, it's... Oh, it's ash or something this time. 
I locked that little bird there in the storm. Quickly close up the roof here because there's already a load of sand or whatever, or dirt or dust. Dust? I think it's dust. Dust or ash or something. In the room there, as you can see. Look at that. Look at how much that is. Jesus. And now it's raining as well. Look at that, what I told you there. It's like a little bit of a, uh, a bird pool there. As you can see, the balcony in this world is just a, uh, it's a dumb idea. <laughs> Uh, although, a ca make a castle in this world is, was a pretty dumb idea, actually. I mean, the, the castle is... The, the world is alright looking. I mean, it's, it's a good... Uh, it's a natural looking world. It has trees, it has green... Uh, underground stuff. Water and everything. But it does have a lot of thunderstorms and sandstorms and rain and stuff. It's like England. <laughs> basically. <laughs> I don't think I don't think England has uh, sandstorms. I think I I think I keep a hole there, if I recall correctly. Like oh no, I just teleported away for some reason. I think I'm going to furnish in the uh, the first uh, watchtower now. There's even a block there, and even a dirt block. There's a lot of stuff here as well. All right, the first uh, interior episode I do now to fix uh, some interior th stuff here. What I'm doing now. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, Watchtower 1. Let's put like a little armor statue right there. Or there. I think there is better. And there as well. I don't know if the door can open up now. Oh. Does it? Oh look, and there is like a furnace. We can go right in the middle. Another Mona Lisa there. <laughs> Because I overused that one. Or a little ape guy. Or a couple of books on there. It's, all, it's also pretty nice. Have a lot of... Oh. You can only place like books on the middle. Because if you put blocks on the other side, they'll fall off. And blocks are uh, solid. So as you can see, every time I put down a uh, book there, you just walk against it. I just decided to put a little clock there, which is pretty nice. It looks... Looks pretty soothing, doesn't it? Alright, room two. Second room up here. It's going to be the, um... The room where I... Yeah. Storage a lot of stuff, you know? A couple of barrels, a couple of armors and stuff. Swords. This is going to be the ale house, I think. A lot of ale for the guards to drink on duty. So that they'll be drunk when they get killed. Juice cake. There we go. <laughs> no? No juice cake? A little bit of a stand there. With the little banner on it. Another keg. On top of that. <laughs> Never enough kegs. Couple of cups. Spread around everywhere. Unfortunately, you cannot put kegs on the... Uh, uh, cups on a keg. Which could be like a great name for a uh, country song. Cups on a keg. A little bit of a table here so the guards can uh, chill out and lay back. <laughs> Garden tools there. I had some trouble putting down uh, stuff here and decided to make a little bit of a uh, ridge there, as you can see. To put a lot of swords on there and stuff. So you can see, if when they need a sword, they can just. Grab a sword from there, and I put a cup in the middle, I think, or don't I? Oh no, I just put these together. And a cup to the sides, I always need to be enough cups there. So upstairs they can chill out, get a, get a sword when they need a sword, and get a drink when they need a drink. And a chest to put some belongings in, and a keg, juice keg, to get some ale out of. Decided to put a um, sword. What's it called? A sword sign out there. Just to show them that it's the uh, the part where they store all their weapons and stuff. Although, as you can see, there are no weapons there right now. Because all the guards have their swords. In my fantasy world. Where there are people walking around in this castle. Well, in... Realistically, there is nobody in this castle. <laughs> and there will never be. Although, I think... Yeah, see. I, I'm going to put a lot of NPCs in here. 
That's a good thing about Starbound, that the terror I never had. It's just to put NPC NPCs everywhere you want. To make this castle a little bit more of a, uh, a working thing. Well, thanks for watching uh, and, uh, this episode, and I'll see you for the next one.